Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we're coming at you today from Blowing Rock, North Carolina at the Green Park Inn. Yes. A lot of history here. A lot of history here. A lot of haunt, haunted history here. There's a lot of haunted history here. And Although they keep that top secret. Yeah. Seems like. As we found out today. Yes. But we will give you some of the regular history here. How's let's, that? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Founded by the Green Park Company, a group of three businessmen from Lenore, North Carolina, led by the Civil War veteran Major George Washington Finley Harper, the hotel first opened to guests in the summer of 1891. The hotel was built to feel like a comfortable summer home. That's what they were going for, and that's what it sure looks like out here, doesn't it, Shane? Yeah, it sure does. Oh. It's just right off 321 here, too. You just pull right off as you're going through Blowing Rockets. Yes. Right off the road. Yes. So, the original structure was 73,000 square feet and included a ballroom, a billiard room, a bowling alley, a shooting gallery, tennis courts, a telegraph, and a post office for public use. Man. Yeah. They're loaded with them. The Green Park Inn continued to house the only United States post office in the area for many years and now keeps a portion of its first sorting system in the history room of the hotel, which we'll give you a little bit of a look at here in just a minute. <laughs> so the hotel has the nickname of the Grand Dame of the High Country and it has hosted a number of uh, memorable figures including Annie Oakley, J.D. Rockefeller, Eleanor Roosevelt, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, and Margaret Mitchell, who actually wrote part of Gone with the Wind while she was staying here. May have been a day like today with the wind is blowing up. <laughs> it inspired her to yeah. say Gone with the Wind. Um, also, the band The Smiths, which is a little bit more yeah. modern, they have stayed here, and that's just mentioned in a few. Yeah. So... In May of 2010, the Green Park Inn was purchased by New York hotelers and brothers Eugene and Stephen Iris. The building was completely refurbished at that time um, in the fall and summer of that year, so I'm guessing they were probably closed for a little while to get everything a little bit more modern. And the Green Park Inn was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1982 with consideration given to the hotel's physical location straddling the Eastern Continental Divide and its significance throughout the rich history of North Carolina and the high country. She stands as the last Grand Manor Hotel in all of Western North Carolina and she is the state's second oldest operating resort hotel. That's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. And I also read here that the Broyhill brothers yeah. of like Broyhill furniture, furniture yeah. they had owned <laughs> Yeah. They had actually owned the Green Park Inn for a while also. So yeah. pretty interesting. Yeah. Yes. A lot of ties to national figures, not just local. Yeah. That's great. All right, we'll give you guys a look at this one side way to get into the Grove Parking. Yeah. It is very, very chilly and windy, so oh, you'll yeah. probably hear some wind. Just watch that flag flapping. Look at the little birdhouse. They have it decorated so pretty. Yes. And it just looks, it, I don't know, it just reminds me of an old house, but it was always built as a hotel. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's cool. Like a, yeah, when you look at the front, it doesn't look that big. Like it was, the 88 rooms maybe yeah um i think it's more than that well maybe it is, is. and then we uh show you as much as we can in this place yeah here's Let's see the pretty little saw on there yeah a quick picture of that i'm not sure what the horse is about here it's because it was a tavern for a horse and buggy people. There you go, then. You're back in the day. It'd yeah. be a really good parking spot, though. Yeah, it would, but. <laughs> can't have everything. Can you? you can't have everything. I love the details there at the front with the. Would it be fair to say this place is balcony. glorious? It is glorious.
I guess this, this is probably the ballroom. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's just a guess. Just a guess, but that's about all we have to go on in it. Beautiful lobby, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that is the restaurant. Yes. It's now called the Chestnut Grill. Chestnut Grill. Yeah. This is the history room. So a lot of cool old things they have and old news articles, including the Green Park Inn and also just about Blowing Rock. Pretty neat, huh? Mm-hmm. I saw it's featured in Southern Living at one point. And... Yep. Kind of a neat thing over here in the corner. We'll turn around to that. This part of the mail piece of it, right yes, here. Yes, right? this was part of the post office original point. post office. It's pretty cool that a hotel housed the only post office yeah. in the town. Imagine everybody coming in here to get their. Yeah. I love things like that too. No, it's not. Nah. letters. I just got to play with stuff. You got to mess with stuff. I'm like a child. You're a boy. Spencer Carson Miller helped restore this thing. So they, they must have put in a lot of work in helping restore it because they retired his wrench. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love these light fixtures. Oh, yeah. It really doesn't want to do it. Okay, we thought we'd give you a little shot of the breakfast. And it is magnificent. Isn't it? Yes. Very good. Yeah. And you say this is. Uh, restaurant dates back to the original founding yes this one uh, this is part of the original building of 1891 and it is beautiful I love the hardwood floors especially and the nice. light fixtures for sure yeah and they got a it's kind of locked a little bit they got fireplace back there as well yes it's nice you know this is really something we're checking out very good Oh, we just got in the elevator. Yes. Take a look at this. And so this is supposed to be the most haunted room here at the Green Park Inn. I hope that you're hearing me okay. I'm trying not to disturb anybody. <laughs> There's not ghosts in there, just me. <laughs> so apparently in a room 318, there was the daughter of a manager here at one point who uh, she was supposed to be married and her husband to be left her at the altar and in that room she committed suicide oh my. yes so that room is supposed to be very active with ghostly activity although the hotel doesn't really like sharing any kind of ghost information other than that widely known story um so it's a little bit different a lot of places hype it up a little bit a lot of places do yeah so <clears throat> we want to be respectful but we're not really sure of any other ghost stories that might be here um i don't know have you had any strange feelings here shane it's definitely a vibe, especially on that floor. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like... Yeah, there we, is. We went up here, we walked up the steps, and we see the first floor sign. The second floor is cold. Yeah. You get up there, and the third floor is... stuffy. Yeah. Kind of weird. It is kind of weird. Um, I kind of get a, a, bit of a weird feeling and everything here. Yeah. So old, I mean, it's what it is. It's very old, you know. There's always a lot of history in a place like this, but it is very beautiful and it seems like it's very well kept up. Absolutely. So, you have to give it that. Yeah, right. Definitely worth checking out, isn't it? Yes, definitely worth checking out. And here they have a piano bar here. Yes. Tonight. Yeah, we'll. We'll show the downstairs, the lobby in that area too. It's very pretty. We bought this window. So have a, have a little escape. fire escape. It looks like just a giant old house, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> they even have a garden in the back. Yeah. 
It's pretty cool. Yeah, I love all things like this because they're, they're just, they don't make you think like that. You see that owl over there on that? I do too. Yeah. Um, this hotel is still trying to be respectful, but they do recognize this, that the Washington Post listed this as one of the most, one of the 13 most haunted hotels in America. Really? Yes. And that's where the story of room 318 comes in. Okay. But and there's more stories than that because they keep a book here, right? There is, but I haven't been able to find the book, and so I know that they don't really like to play into the ghost aspect, the haunted aspect, so maybe maybe that's why, I don't know. But anyways, that's a little bit of a look around at the upstairs, and we're very grateful that they let us oh, yeah. look around and film up here, too. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. I always get that opportunity, do we? Exactly. piano player during the evenings, I guess. Yeah. So they have pictures hanging up of people that stayed here. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Monroe. And Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. So I wonder if she actually stayed here. Well, well could be. So, There's Annie Oakley. Yeah. Even though she's not one that they have listed, but one would think that. Yeah. I love that stained glass. I love the stained glass, too. It's awesome. Beautiful. And it says the divide, so I'm thinking this is where the bar yeah. is, the bar area. Makes perfect sense. To the left, they have a nice library. There's a picture of Eleanor Roosevelt. So. And the fireplace and all that picture mm -hmm. on the mantel. Very unique in there. Like you said, it's very home. Feels like you're at home. Yeah. Decorated very beautiful, and it reminds me of the Biltmore a little bit in decoration. Yeah, but see that, yeah. Yeah. You can definitely see that. I can just imagine in the summer with these doors open, like the French doors, and the air blowing in. that was a look at the beautiful and historic green park inn and we hope you guys enjoyed this we thought that we would give you a look at one of the beautiful views from the green park inn also oh yeah it's got plenty of good views here though doesn't it's it it's sure incredible yes yeah amazed how big it is too Oops. yeah just and rock off the side of the road and blowing rock so so if you're in this area you want, may want to think about checking this place out. Yeah, check it out. And you know what else they should check out? The rest of our videos. You know, that's so a good subscribe point. subscribe so you don't miss any. Give us the thumbs up if you like this video. And leave us a comment with your favorite part. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. We'll see you on down the road somewhere. 